huge news today, you guys. The new album is... Whoa. You guys, are you as excited as I am about the new album? Oh my gosh. Well, the track list and the cover have been released. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I think I'm going to poo myself when it comes to the mail. So the track list goes like so. Um, on the first inch, the first track is called Moving On, and it was actually partially played by Iba on Recommend last week. Um, which is awesome. I, I listened to part of it and so far I'm really impressed. Second track is called Mada Ueo. Third track is called Ni Furain, which is Refrain. Um, and the fourth track is Troublemaker. Um, the fifth track is called Taboo, which is Show Solo. Um, sixth is Sakasu, which is Circus. Seven is Gifto, which is Gift. Um, eight, they're gonna have everything. Nine is called Come Back to Me, which is June Solo, um, which somehow totally fits him. Um, ten is My Girl. Eleven is called Magical Song, which is Iba Solo. Twelve is called Let Me Down. Um, and then for just two, the first track is Monster. Um, second track is Don't Stop. Third track is Shizuka no Yorini, which is Ono Solo. Um, four is Mukai ni Ikuyo. Five, I really, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it other than just to say the numbers, so I'll do that. Um, five is 1992 star 4 pound pound 111. And, uh, that's Nino Solo, and I'll explain the, the title of the song after this. Um, this six track is Sore Takaku, which is the, was the theme song slash ending for um, Saigo no Yakusaku. Um, seven is Kagero, and eight is called Summer Splash. So um, now there's six songs in this album that have Sakura. So I am so, so excited. I seriously am. I'm really excited. Also, doesn't Magical Song like just totally fit I but I'm, I'm really excited to listen to it because this song sounds like the most happiest like, uh, just, he always has happy songs. Friendship was really adorable, that's one of my favorites. Now to explain Nino's song title, um, most people probably wouldn't get it unless they have owned or own a Japanese cell phone, um, especially an AU phone. Uh, basically, if uh, you're typing in like a text message, if you type in those numbers and the symbols um, on the phone, it's spelled Ariato. Ah! How cute is that? Seriously. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Plus, the song is written and composed by Nino himself. Ah! Okay, enough about that. Um, there's actually more song news. Um, seriously, there is. Arashi is going to be singing the theme song for Ohoku. It's called Dear Snow. But we have no idea when it's going to be released yet, so... Plus, there are rumors going around that they are going to be doing the theme song for Gantz. Oh my goodness! So much song. Seriously, so much song. Natsu Niji aired last night. I'll be watching it later on today, but um, it got a 15% rating, which is awesome. Yay! Lastly, um, the ballot results for Kokuritsu have been announced, and actually quite a few of my friends got in, so congratulations to them. I wish that I could go earlier, but I really can't because I need to save up my money. Um, so we're wait still waiting for Tokyo Dome results. Please, 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 please. Thank you so much. The top question today comes from user Radioactive X Kitty, and she asked, if you had to spend a day with an Arashi member, who would it be? And uh, you can only choose one. You guys really like torturing me with questions, which I'm forced to pick only one member, don't you? Ah, uh, so hard. I just like rack my brain for seriously like a half an hour when I have to answer these questions. Okay, if I had to only only pick one, uh, I would say Iba, because uh, I think that he would be really excited to have somebody like around him all day, and so he would think of really fun things to do or like you know stuff like that. Um, he's also probably the most likely to call up the rest of the group to uh, hang out and have dinner and things like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was actually really on the edge between Nino and Aiba. Um, I would pick 
Nino because I think that it would be really interesting to see what his day is like. Um, and I really wouldn't mind playing video games with him all day if that's what he wanted to do. But in the end, because Ibo would be the most likely to call up one or all of the members to come and hang out for dinner or whatever, um, I choose Ibo. So, okay, so that's it for this week. Um, if you maybe noticed, uh, at least from the opening, that there's something slightly different here. No, I didn't get a new camera, unfortunately. But um, I found out that there was updated software that allows you to do widescreen format, which um, I think it just crops part of the image. And it doesn't really do much else than that. But, you know what? I'm not going to complain. Check it out, you guys. Um, this is a napkin from Keikaro. Um, a friend of mine was in Japan recently and she went to Keikaro and she said she got a couple extra napkins <laughs> to uh, give to friends and stuff at home. And, uh, you know, <sighs> nobody else would be this excited about a napkin than an Arashi fan, I swear. I just, I'm really, really excited that I have this. But I do have plans to go to Keikaro um, when I go back in November, so I'm really excited because I didn't get a chance to go last time.